Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I abolish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace <gasps> because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the basilian oh, turned uh, into stone, uh, it's your uh, own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No! No! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. <laughs> 